Zach with USMC Reaper. Um, last week I uploaded a video, uh, an update video of my 180 gallon peninsula tank. Um, and I kind of gave you guys a glimpse uh, view of my frag tank. I gonna ask you guys if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to see the frag tank, wanted me to go more in depth with it. Um, so that's what this is. Um, <clears throat> This tank came about, um, I got a really good deal on it uh, with one of my um, now to be reef buddies. Uh, he was getting rid of this tank because uh, of business. Uh, so I went up, scooped up this whole thing for $600, which was awesome, an awesome, awesome purchase for me. Um, I went back and forth with getting frag tanks uh, because my wife is probably like many of your guys' wives, she likes things to look pretty. Same thing with my 180 gallon peninsula tank. Uh, I told her that's what I wanted. And she told me, okay, as long as it has pretty cabinetry and she got to pick it out. So I went back and forth with her at so many different frag tanks. And uh, since it was gonna be in our living room, she wanted it to look really, you know, pretty and aesthetically pleasing. So I, I completely want to understand, her, uh, understand where she's coming from. So this video is just gonna be me going over uh, my livestock um, going over um, the equipment that's on here just so you guys can kind of see uh, what a little frag tank um, takes to run um, and the pros and the cons of, um, of the tank. Um, if I haven't already said it, it's a innovative marine 25 gallon lagoon tank so it's a, it's a pretty short tank but uh, I love it. Uh, it does what I need it to do right now and um, it's actually got me into be able to sell a couple corals here and there to pay for a bucket of salt or something so it's been pretty nice but i'm gonna go ahead and uh get into this and uh, uh hopefully you guys like it all right guys uh i'm gonna break this kind of video down real quick and i'm gonna do what's in the tank what's on the back part for the filtration since this does not have a sump and then kind of what i have underneath the tank so uh in here um i had some things i wanted to go bare bottom because i Really, I wanted to start this out as an SPS kind of tank because that's kind of what um, I have majority of in my um, 180. But um, I was kind of finding that it's hard to keep a the parameters on a on a um, a nano tank stable. Is my first nano tank. Um, so. Uh, the Euphilia LPS and kind of like Zoas and stuff are doing fantastic in here. I know you guys can see a couple of pieces of my pink bird's nest in here. Um, it is doing, they're doing great. Um, and so that's just, those were kind of tester corals. Um, like I said, I, I wanted this to be a frag tank, but not look like a frag tank. Um, so West Mariculture, um, they make these bonsai reef, um, structures um some of them are pretty affordable and some of them you know are, are pretty pricey this one works for me um it has lots of frag holes in it um as you guys can see there's there's um holes on the top for there for frags <clears throat> so you could really use these on a frag tank or on a, on a on a main tank to have them you know grown out but uh oh, there goes the auto top off i have um, but that's what I wanted to go with, with kind of the rock structure. So now if we go over to here, I wanted some type of rock structures, um, that kind of didn't, uh, look like a, a frag rack. And so this was made by Refrax. Um, it's like R-A-X. You can find them on Facebook and they got a website and everything. Um, this thing's okay. Uh, it collects so much detritus on it um, with how the texture is um, and really I found it's found home to um, one of my blennies that I, I have in here well the only one I have in here um, and he just likes it it's pretty much his home these were rainbow cloves at one point and he ate them all so I don't know how long he's gonna be staying back in this tank but um, other than that I, I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with it with putting in frag plugs and frag plugs and it just came to the point if you want this to be a, a you know a a frag tank and 
you want to, to propagate stuff out of here, you're gonna have to have some stuff you can grow on it. Um, I wasn't a big fan of just trying to grow stuff on my glass right now, so uh, at least when I mean by glass, I mean on the bottom. Uh, but um, so these are some starting to grow some zoanthids down here um, that were in my main tank, and they were just overgrowing stuff. So um, as in livestock, I have in here, I have a Wyoming white clown. I have a gladiator clownfish. Um, I have a tail spot blenny in there. And um, I want to get a wrasse. I'm probably going to get maybe like a possum wrasse or something like that, something pretty small uh, to keep in here. And I'm not, I don't want to do it big with the livestock. This is not my livestock tank. And uh, I just, but you know, I want it to look pretty. And, um, uh, just simplistic. I went bare bottom with this. As you can see, there's sand in here mixed with detritus. Um, I took um, this colony of zoanthids and this colony of zoanthids, and of course they were on the, on the, the, the sand bed of my old tank. And um, a lot of sand came with them. So I'm trying to slowly get that out. Um, I'm gonna cut the the power so my auto top off doesn't go crazy and then I'm going to show you guys kind of what uh, I have going on in the back. Alright guys we're going to head back here to the back real quick as uh, I'm headed there to the back. Uh, for flow um, on this tank I have an MP10 um, and if you want to see why it looks kind of crazy inside of the tank um, which it doesn't look terrible it actually blends in really well. Um, as you can see there's even a snail on there. Um, I got this company and this one this one is actually one of the ones I took off and um, excuse it looking dirty and nasty but it was in the tank for a little bit um, this is from a company called uh, Ninemy Guards um, so if you guys have a small tank uh, that you're worried about your fish getting stuck up in the propeller um, or you have a Ninemy tank of any really size um, this just goes you put your uh, I don't know who all they make it for, but I know they make it for MP10s, MP40s, MP60s. Um, he, he's actually in the UK, so I think it's cost me around like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, but he'll ship it to you, wherever, to your house. This one I received was the first one I received, and it was actually snapped all the way around perfectly in there. Um, I sent him a picture of it. I, this is actually just super glue. I sent him a picture of it. And he immediately sent me another one the next day um, and with, without any questions. And he said, I'm very sorry. I'll send you one next day. I had a tracking number literally the next day um, to have another one of these sent to my house. So um, awesome, awesome um, company and brand. And, and, I, and I like the way that it performs. All right, guys. So here we go in the back. Uh, like I said, this is a, this all in one tank. Um, this this one came with a, like a custom caddy. Uh, this is made by in, they're made by Intank. Um, down here, uh, as far as how I ever, have I, how I have everything ran, um, I just have some like filter floss uh, that I get on Amazon. Extremely cheap. You can buy bulk. It's way cheaper than buying it at bulk resupply or anything like that. Just go in there and cut the squares up yourself. Uh, um, I have Kimmy pure blue packet in there and then I also in the very bottom if you can see that I have two and these are all the exact same um, on both sides and I have two marine pure spheres that I had in my sump on my 180 to kick this biological filtration off um, so I have that on that side and on the opposite side down in here um, I just have some uh, like rubble rock and I have a whole thing of um, Seachem's uh, matrix uh, down in here. It's literally as much as I can possibly pack into here. Um, just to, you know, I have a minimalist structure up here, so I, I, I don't, um, I didn't want to have as many rocks in here. As, so that's where all my, my filtration is coming from. Um, here, I have a little skimmer. Uh, this is the, the little ghost skimmer. Uh, it does well. Um, it overflows a whole bunch, and I actually forgot to turn it off while I was doing this video. Um, so I'm gonna keep overflowing, but um, it works well. 
It's really wet skim. It's really hard to dial in for me. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, down here, I'm running the Neotherm, Neotherm heaters. I got two of these. It's just what came with it. Um, I think it was like two of the, two the, the pretty much the smallest ones you can get. I'm running two of them. I'm gonna, if one of these has a problem, I'm gonna upgrade just so I have one of them in there. It's, saves uh, an electrical outlet and uh, um, doesn't make a lot of sense to have two. Some people like running two two heaters. I, I don't really see the need in it, but I also have an Apex on my, my 180. Um, here I'm running the Nano um, Tunzi, is it the Osmolator? Um, it is a super simplistic auto top off. It just has a little float switch that's down here. Um, and it is accurate, man. Like, I love this thing. And I really, I, I just run a little tube. The water level is a little higher because I, I cut the, I cut the, uh, the uh, flow off. But this little tube comes down in here and that's my auto top off. Um, I, I really think about, I, I think I'm going to get an osmolator for my 180 because I have, I'm running a smart ATO on, on my 180 and it was absolutely garbage. Um, I have a, um, a Gen 3, um, XR, XR15 on here, um, with the, uh, um, with the, with the bracket and the diffuser on here. And I love this light. I love this light so much. Um, I'm running SB reflights on my 180 and I really, 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 really would love to go to Ecotex, um, for that tank because... The difference in the lights, how it looks in the tank is just phenomenal. Um, down here, I know I should get everything off the floor. I got it. Um, the only thing down here, since this is an all-in-one tank, um, is just my power supplies for everything and my auto top-off. That's the Trigger Systems uh, Emerald uh, five-gallon auto top-off. And then again, there's the uh, there's the um, the Tunzi um, auto top off and uh, that's that's it for this tank guys it's super simplistic um, <laughs> show you how much maintenance I don't want to do on this tank I don't um, test really for this tank and say what you want to say I don't really care I do a 50% water change once a week and uh, don't have a, a lot of corals in there so um, my salt is keeping my parameters um, Stable. The only thing I really check is the salinity to make sure uh, that that's not going out of whack. But that's pretty much it, guys, for this tank. It's super easy, super simplistic, and it's just a little frag tank um, for me. So if you guys have any comments uh, or questions, put them in there, the comments below. It'd be cool to hear them. And uh, everything I've seen pretty pretty far has been positive, and I appreciate it. So um, again, guys, I'm Zach with USMC Reef, and I appreciate you guys' time. Thank you. Bye bye.